quarters. Good luck. Congress is a cool looking ship, although I do like the Alaska more for the triple turrets. Look, the double turrets don't fit too much, dude. Hey, Chesper, yes, salut. Yeah, hello. For the game where I got pinged for 9 minutes, that's enough ships for the day. Oh man. That sounds pretty darn rough. Wait, nobody here yet? I expected to somebody at least be close to the cap since Aki's here. But apparently they're not really interested in the cap. Yeah, see it's completely free. Interesting. Captain Abe, welcome. Enemy battleship detected. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. <laughs> wow, that Yashina player doesn't like me. Stop it. Stop being so rude. Enemy battleship detected. Kremlin, where are you? I think he's just standing there. We're not gonna push more. <laughs> because if I would love that he's going for the cap and tries to brawl me. Because then we could beat them at close range. Oh, there he is. Okay. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, direct front. Oh, Aki is going for you. Aki, if Aki goes for YOLO, that's very questionable because he has to land both torp sets. Yeah, rip. That was a wasted approach by the Aki. Come on, get the torps off. Get the torps off, bro. Oh, please, get the. Okay, you got the torps off. Let's see how many. Four. Good. 
At least that's something. <laughs> Look, even if he landed all eight, it would have not been enough. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. The good thing for what us though is that we can sit at the Kremlin free cam, or we should be able to. My biggest problem though is the Cossack play. I don't, I don't want to get spotted. Come on, Bjorki, you can do it. Nah, this, this is too awkward here. I'll go. I don't want to reverse completely here. I'm gonna push like this over here. We do have these BBs guarding this flank, <laughs> so we should be fine. <laughs> Plus, we would have gotten CV spotted now anyway. There's no reason to stick here, and we're just gonna go to B. Oh wow, two people aiming at me, despite me being like pretty much in a safe position. How rude. How rude! Does the Congress armor layout match the less? <laughs> it should, if I'm not mistaken. Only difference really is a bit less HP and of course two guns less. <laughs> Which brings a bit worse overall accuracy. About the A mounts or something, I don't know if there's any difference. I mean, it wouldn't matter because A is not existent, so I don't know about that anyway. Of course, the reload is way longer as well. So there's that. Since you cannot slot the T9 thingy. Okay, Cossack ran completely away. Good to know. Spotted, but that's 12 km, so nowhere near as close. Oh, Eden. Attention. Reporting the target position. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, buddy. American AP. Boop. Shouts falling short. Artillery bug. Yay. Great game design. We even aimed higher than Waterline. Did you see it? But do you think the game cares? No. Beautiful. You saw I even aimed higher, right? You cannot aim borderline on honestly anymore. If you aim too fast, your shell lock on is just completely destroyed. And they, they, they're not fixing it. It's so annoying. It has been the worst bug since, like, I don't know, a few patches. But at least has never been this inconsistent. But apparently, fixing the ray gun bug was way more important than this. By breaking artillery. Well done. I have improved AP angles, so I don't really care that much. Just gotta pay attention to Vermont and 3k. They're my biggest problems right now. And we 
can overmatch you as well, buddy. So bye. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Let's see if we can get the Lexing. The first salvo on the Adam was super lucky. At least we got him later. Hmm. Well, aka is super unlucky for me. Enemy heavily damaged. Got an angle against the GK. I see him going for me now. We sunk an enemy aircraft carrier. Let's go, boys. <laughs> now I can go down a piece in this battle. Our is you should know. That dude is literally not turning with a Seattle, so it's just a question of time when my guns decide to hit the Citadel. That's also one thing, if you notice, Congress feels way less consistent due to having worse dispersion and at least less guns than Alaska. But it's still pretty much an Alaska hole, so still pretty good. Can we get the water now? Nope. Dude, he's getting away with it. We're even aiming, right? Oh well. Still pretty good, but here you see the reason why I just prefer Alaska way over it. It's just way more consistent than this ship. You can do feel the difference. But other than that, it doesn't change the fact that Congress is still a decent ship. It's still decent. It's not bad. It's just on overall longer ranges, it really suffers from having that super awful horizontal uh, uh, vertical dispersion. But we got the piggy, so all in all, absolutely amazing. Alaska is better. Alaska is better, not only because it's T9, it must be better than, but it's actually quite a bit better. Which means we can also play the Alaska now. Why not? I'm just waiting to this battle to finish. I did like we got the GK here. Add uh, the CV, and I think that GK is. I mean, I don't know, is the book in top range? No, he's not. I think they're gonna run out. Unless he launched them way earlier here. And it's more accurate. It is Shank. There's no question about it. Alaska is better. But it doesn't change the fact that Congress is pretty decent at T8 as well. Especially since it's rather tanky and it has a heal. Oh! Apparently he did launch the top early enough, but that was close. You saw what it actually kind of unlucky for the GK. He had ended and he ate them here. That was Giga said. That was really unlucky for the GK actually. <laughs> not not saying anything, but poor GK man. Hmm. GG. Good game. Damage wise, not that special, but we got the carrier, so that's nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's drink a bit of water. First in the team, nice. Quickly go and open the door, viewer back chat.